Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing good. So in today's session, I'll be covering the 8 to 10 latest feature of the Constellation UI in Pega Infinity version 25. And uh, this will be followed by two or three more sessions in this series and uh, where I'll be uh, continue discussing additional updates. Uh, you'll also see several updates or advanced feature uh, which were not present in 24 version along with the new features added to the existing functionalities. So we'll cover all these aspects in the upcoming sessions. So let's get started. So I will start with the first point where I'll be creating a new properties from the Dev Studio. So let's go to the Dev Studio and create a new property and give the apply to class as a case type class. So what is the case type? Review candidate. Okay, we will create one property. So in previous version, we knew that whenever we were creating the property from the dev studio and if we were not making it as a real event, we were not able to see inside the app studio, correct? So we can see the convert to advanced configuration option, right? And even we are creating the properties in the dev studio, we are only able to see the type. Now if you just give the proper type and save it so by default this record will be marked as a relevant so let it be save we'll be seeing is so go to the action and you will see mark as a relevant so let's quickly check this in the app studio whether we can see this property in the app studio or not so go to the data model you can see test is there correct Similarly, we will go back and we will try to create one more property. And give the same class. Now, I will click on the convert to advanced configuration and we will see. So, this is the same screen which you are seeing in the previous versions right now i will add something it's just an example you can add or you cannot add so i have just given the length as a 8 and now if i save you won't see that record is automatically marked as a relevant right we still need to mark it and if we don't mark it we won't see that value in the app studio so let's go and see in the app studio and refresh it see test to value we are not able to see so what we need to do we need to go back and manually mark this record as a relevant and save now let's go back to the app studio and refresh Now test to value is available. So that is the first thing uh, which we can say it only available in the 25 version. Now second point if I go back to the case type and in the UX and go to the other views. Now you can see small small icons has been added with all the forms even with all the properties which we are going to select. If you try to create any new view I will show that. So let's quickly open that view and try to add the fields. Now you can see in front of field, you can see this T mark, then if it is a data reference, you can see the other icon, similarly for operator other icon. So this is something new which we are seeing in 25 version. Now if you select any value, I will show that you will be getting an option of 
edit validate for example okay let's not select this and select something else or let's quickly create one property or okay now if you expand this here you will be seeing one new option show field input warning so what happens when you select this and you can give any custom condition when you want to show the warning and the warning message you can either give directly some value as a text or you can refer any value okay so what you need to do if you are creating a new you know field value you can very well go there and you can select from here so for example if i create a new and give the test as a and submit it right so this is nothing but a field value and it's a rule either you can give any static value or directly given save it let's save and run and see okay but before that we need to call it in workflow So here if you will queue any value okay why it is not coming because we did not give any condition so let's quickly go there and give the condition And now if we queue anything and click outside and now save and run. See maximum length is 5. So these kind of new messages edit validate we can see in 25 version. Now one more thing earlier in 24 version when we were creating a new step uh, let me show you create a test 3 you are getting an option configure view so what was happening whenever we were creating the step the local action or a flow action you can say was getting created automatically but in this scenario you have created a test 3 right and if you try to see in the app explorer you won't find the flow action of test 3 correct but when you click the configure user action and just submit and refresh it you will find the new flow action right so basically in earlier version the flow action was getting created we were only creating the views but here first you need to create the local action then on top of that we will be creating the views or fields so that's the another point now there is one new option has been added for data reference okay so what i am going to 
two i will create one property and i will show you let's go back to the app studio and i will try to create one new property and i will show you oh i think we did not save let's quickly go back and create a new step test for save configure action and create one field test 5 and give the value as data reference we will call any existing data type give the single record or list of record give the value as test 6 so when you open this till 24 version we were getting only options till here auto complete drop down table simple table and advanced search now we can see the new option which has been added as a card so what happens we will see the image as well as the value in form of card how we can add the image from here okay so that's one more new thing which has been added in 25 version and this field will be added for a single select and a multi select as well okay if i go back or select the table if you open this now you can give the custom label okay earlier we were not able to give the labels in customized format so that is also one now you will also able to wrap this text okay so this is also a new feature which we have got in 25 version what else if we go to the dev studio in 24 version what we were doing when we were trying to see the created views we were opening the class instance of rule ui view correct and we were able to see all the views which we have created for example this test three test one now in the 25 version there will be one new rule has been added view and you can see the created views so it's same earlier we were you know opening it from the class instance the same instance you will see but with this view rule okay okay so that is one more thing but in earlier version what was happening when we were trying to access the view from the dev studio we were not able to do so or we need to make one when rule available or mark as a true which is enable c 11n we were marking this when rule to true to see the metadata correct but how we can see it now we can see in this format okay what is the column format and instructions and the content content means the fields and the views which we are adding now if you want to see in the previous versions format let's try to mark it as a true and we'll see let's refresh it 
anything happen no but we can now see the option of mark as custom so when we click this we will be able to see the metadata as well so that's also new thing which we have seen in 25 version okay what next we have now more out of the box themes if you go back to the channel channel or configuration let's see yep it's in setting now you can see dorado cagnus andromeda right these are all out of the box views which has been added similarly now you can see when you will be creating a new theme you can see that you can edit the corners white spaces you can give the page style and you can select the colors means editing and editing has been enhanced and we are getting new out of the box themes as well the new thing has been added in the library so i have uh, you know taught in my batch classes regarding the library so here you can see the new dx component has been added and we can reuse that as well so that's a pretty much for today's session we will continue seeing the more new features which has been added in pega constellation um, infinity version 25 in coming sessions so stay tuned Thank you.